Hi dear students, good morning. I welcome you back to your math lessons. We have been learning about unit 1 geometry from class 3 term 1 mathematics. We did some practice exercises and activities in our previous classes, right? Let's continue from right where we left. This is page number 12 and here you can see some incomplete shapes. Can you guess what is this shape? Yes, this shape is a sphere but it is incomplete, right? You can complete it using a pencil, okay? Alright, the next shape is a cuboid, okay? There are three lines. You can guess that it is a cuboid. Okay, try to complete the cuboid. The ne next one is a cube. You can complete that cube also. Right? And can you guess what exactly is the next shape? Yes, it's a cone. Okay, you can draw a line here to make a cone. Again, you have a cylinder here. You just make a line here and two curved lines. That's all. Your cylinder is ready. There is another cube for you. Just draw one line here, one line here, and one line here. So your cube will be ready. Okay? Let me repeat these two shapes. Here, to make a cuboid, you can draw a line here, a line here, and you can make a rectangle over here. Then you need to join these two corners together and these two corners together that's all and here also one more corner okay and next here in cube you can draw a line here one line here make this as a square like this then join these points together you get a cube some of you may be aware of the smart kits provided by some child magazines one of the main attraction of this smart kit is the tangram. Kids will be very happy to play with tangram because it will improve their creativity skills. We can make many figures of animals, people and other things by using this tangram. Tangram is a traditional Chinese puzzle made of a square divided into seven pieces in which one parallelogram one square and five triangles are included but but simplified version also is available with five pieces in it can we make the simplified version of tangram puzzle what you need is a thick cardboard a scale and a scissor okay do you have it handy take it and now try to cut the cardboard to get these shapes I'll teach you in detail when we meet in Google meet okay twist down you have a question how many triangles are there in a five piece tangram set are they equal in size okay let's find the answer how many pieces of triangles are there in a five piece tangram set let's count where is triangle yes here is a triangle here is another triangle and here is another triangle okay triangle number one triangle number two and triangle number three okay you got it so we have three triangles the second part of the question is are they equal in size are they equal no, not exactly. They are unequal in size. They are not equal. Okay. Now you can cut out these pieces from a paper or a cardboard and put them together in different ways to make some very interesting shapes. You can do it. You can try. And you can even see in here how to cut tangram of seven pieces. Okay, you can cut these seven pieces, arrange it and rearrange it to make different shapes. 
when you arrange these pieces together with no gaps or overlaps to fill a flat surface then you will get a tiled floor okay see this is a square and in this square you have arranged all these pieces of the tangram without any gap and overlap so this square is a tile now you got the idea can you observe these pictures in these pictures different pieces are interlocked together with no gaps or overlaps so you got a tile here you got another tile here you got another tile here so these are all tiles now you need to know about the tile that we use to cover our ground our floor that tile is a baked clay in the form of a shape that is used to cover the surface you got it in the next page we have uh, the tiling pattern you need to draw on a sheet of paper and complete the pattern okay and keep it safe with you take a snap and send to me all right so arrangement of different shapes closely fit together without a gap or overlapping is known as tessellation okay regular polymers such as triangles squares and hexagons tessellate in a plane that means when you arrange regular polymers such as squares hexagons and triangles together in a plane you will be able to fit it together without a gap or overlapping but even though pentagons and heptagons are regular polygons they do not tessellate the reason is they can't fit together without giving a space in between you can't tessellate a sphere or a circle you can't tessellate a hexagon and octagon now you try to find out different shapes that do not tessellate together in a tile okay that's all in unit 1 in unit 1 you learned a lot we did a lot of activities we did some puzzles we learned about some shapes we learned how to draw 2d and 3d shapes and so on so my dear kids please learn well stay home and stay healthy thank you all